So I just want to close with, uh, with sharing why I find this faith compelling. First of all, I think, I think the Christian faith is, is not theoretical. It's not, it's not philosophical. It's not metaphysical. In a lot of ways, it's grounded in history. Right? The Judeo-Christian faith has these historical claims as to what that faith is about, about how the way God intersected this world and took care of his people. And to me, it culminates in this amazing statement about the resurrection of Christ. Now, this resurrection about this guy who died thousands of years ago, it's, it's a linchpin to this faith. You can't use the tools of science, but you can bear on it the tools of history. You can test and to see whether this claim holds. I'm convinced they do. That's why my chips are in that bucket. And unlike any system of beliefs I know of, this Judeo-Christian faith, it boldly claims that this mess, this mess that we see is built into the very heart of God. This is why God is called Emmanuel, God with us in this mess, in this pain. This mess is central to the story. Now, the death of Jesus shows that God does not accept this broken world, that pain and justice are given a solution here. Now, now many of you might think that, you know, love, the gods, the God of love and the God of wrath don't fit together at all. But I think they fit perfectly together, and I'll tell you why. If I have my baby girl that you saw, and if somebody's hurting that girl, there will be wrath in my heart. And I would want justice to happen and the world set right and her to be set right. You see, the opposite of love is not wrath. The opposite of love is indifference. If I don't care what happens to my daughter. And at the cross, I see that this God is not indifferent. He pours the wrath on his son due to his love for us. It's an amazing thing that in this death, God actually shares the responsibility with us. Blows me away. And the resurrection of Jesus, you know, this resurrection, it's not a spiritual ghost of a resurrection, but it's a flesh and blood resurrection, which means it says that the physical world matters. Flesh matters, sex matters, ice cream matters, earth matters. This beautiful world will not be tossed aside. So what does this afterlife, this new heaven and the new earth look like to me? It, it looks like this. It looks like artists and musicians hanging out about inventors, academics, people who make more amazing ice cream, fashion designers, shoes that are better than these. It's all of these things put together. It's going to be an amazing world full of excitement. It's not about doing good deeds to get to heaven to sing songs to a magical God. Oh my goodness, dear Lord, no way. But it is a beautiful world that will be set right. It is this world that will be redeemed and set right. It is the way the world should be. And when I practice this Christian faith, it frees me. It frees me from brokenness, offers me a sense of true acceptance, and I see actually in my life more forgiveness, more peace, more love, more understanding, a wisdom to live life well.